Hello, I am Todd Weimers, the Assistant Commandant for Capabilities. And I'm Joe Burdian, Assistant Commandant for Response Policy. We are very excited today to announce the creation and release of the new Response Operations Ashore Insignia, primarily because we're both part of the response community. The Response Operations Ashore community carries out a diverse set of the Coast Guard's operational roles of maritime law enforcement, maritime response, maritime security operations, and defense operations. Before today, many of the duties carried out by our members were not represented with a service-wide insignia. Some communities within Response Ashore had limited opportunity to earn an insignia, while others wore insignia not representative of their primary career path. Insignia recognize members who have obtained the skills and experience to be considered professionals within their field. We have discussed this within the Response Ashore community for over a decade now, and today an insignia has finally come to fruition. All right, folks, now's the exciting part. Uh, as you can see from the signboard behind us, the insignia includes a compass rose framed by a life ring, overlapping a crossed oar and rifle surrounded by breaking wave crests. The insignia has gold accents on the compass rose, life ring, and oar, and rifle, and the combination of pewter and gold on the insignia represents the shared mission of officers and enlisted team members in fulfilling various response missions. Enlisted members and officers of the Coast Guard and Coast Guard Reserve and Coast Guard civilian employees who meet the established criteria may be awarded the Response Operations Ashore insignia. The insignia will be issued on a temporary and permanent basis. Members can attain the temporary award by serving at a qualifying unit and reaching a certain level of qualification. The permanent insignia is awarded after a member attains the highest level of qualification and completes a total of five years at a qualifying unit. In addition to the creation of the new Response Ops Ashore insignia, we're updating the traditional marine safety insignia which will now be called the Prevention Operations Ashore Qualification Insignia. The design and how it's worn remains the same, but this revision reflects the realignment of incident management, national strike force, and emergency management qualifications within response operations ashore insignia. Those currently wearing the marine safety pin may continue wearing the device. Starting today, crew members who meet the requirements for temporary or permanent entitlement of the insignia may apply and have it awarded by their sector commander, CO, or OIC. For a permanent award, the member will receive an official certificate and can enter it into their PDR. Once the vendor begins production, insignia will be available through our Coast Guard exchanges. Details on how to apply, documents for application, award, and instructions on how to add your record will be contained in a future All Coast. This is a historic day for our members of the Ops Ashore Response Community. We now have an insignia that represents our full world of work and unites us as a community. With this signing, the Response Operations Ashore pin will be promulgated. You're seeing it happen, folks. Um, we're all excited about the insignia creation and release to the field. We look forward to seeing the insignia being worn across the service. Keep up your extraordinary work. Semper Paratus.